What's up Rico Gang? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get free products that you can sell online using a method that I've kind of detailed before. Now, one of the biggest things I hear when it comes to like reselling and flipping is like, bro, I don't have a lot of capital to start. Well, that's not gonna be a problem today after this video because this takes nothing but time. It just, and knowing how to follow instructions. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. All right, so I ain't gonna waste none of your time. We gonna jump right into it. So I already hit on that product. That's about a $149 value product, but I'm gonna go for a slightly higher ticket item just to show you and also try to see if we can get this for educational purposes, by the way. So let's jump right into it. So first I wanna let you know, I'm going off a of guide provided in my group, provide all kinds of methods like this. And one of our providers hooked us up. So these are the steps you're gonna need to take. The first thing is gonna be finding this product on Amazon. And the reason that's important, you will find out later, but you have to watch to the end. You, be, you gotta be able to find this product on Amazon, which here you see is listed at a little bit less than if you buy it from them, actually a lot less than if you buy it from them. And this appears to be the same product, although to be the same product, if you look at the pictures, you wanna kinda match it up on the back to make sure the same product and it is, right? So that's the first step, finding this product on Amazon. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to eBay, right? And you wanna find this product because once again, you got, because, because you're gonna need it later in this process, but once you have those, you're, because what you're gonna need is something that shows to where you have an image of the product and then you have the serial number, model number and everything like that, right? So hey, feel free to use this one. But if all this goes well, then they're gonna deny you because this one's already being claimed if it of course works out for your boy. So still, this is the same process. You're gonna go find one of these, right? So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna go to Belkin's. So, so what you're gonna do is go to belkin.com forward slash support dash center. And we're gonna do a product replacement form. Of course, my preferred language is English, right? However, I do know a little Spanish, I ain't gonna lie to you. But you're gonna fill out this form, those letters up. They wanna make sure you're not a robot. The audacity of a robot to ask me if I'm a robot though, that's crazy. Anyway, you're gonna come over here and fill this out. Our product type is gonna ask us to contact support. We're not gonna do that. So we're gonna go to the closest thing, which would probably be a power bank. And then the model, remember we're gonna get that info from here, so the model number, and then I would like the exact product, and then I'm gonna go back here, get that serial, right? And then give a brief description, right? And so in our guide, it pretty much says that you've you know, been happily using the product and you notice it's become whatever, right? So I'm gonna say, I love this product. I used it for weeks, just stopped working on me, bummer, right? And then date of purchase is gonna be important. I said a few weeks, so it is July 21st. So let's go to 074, no, 074, 2023 purchase. We're gonna go Amazon and then actually copy and paste this because I didn't read, this is a description of the product as far as color, it's black, port count, let's see, one, two, three, four on the front, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the back, nine ports. And then boom, we go to the next page and we have not registered this product. So we're gonna have to upload a receipt. Now, Rico, where are we gonna get a receipt from? I got you, right? We're gonna come over here to a service that I use to create these receipts for educational purposes, of course, and we're gonna generate this receipt, right? So it's in US dollars. Remember the order date was July the 7th date. We're gonna go same day, Amazon, and they will drop, bring it to you the same day. Item name, we're gonna copy and paste it exactly how it is up here. Price, we're gonna go 278. Quantity one, Amazon, full name. We're gonna make up a name. We're gonna go Joe Blend, address. And then once again, these robots are asking us if we're robots and then we're gonna generate this, right? So now we have a receipt, right? So we're gonna download this receipt and we're gonna upload it over here. We're gonna just check it to make sure. I'm gonna hit open, load that receipt in, and then photo of your product showing any applicable damage, all right? So right here is where I'm about to finesse a little bit. I'm gonna find an actual picture of this device out of the box product. So I'm gonna take this photo in, and I'm actually gonna replace this background just so it's not the exact one from eBay. I'm gonna duplicate this. So now we have this isolated and we're gonna go 
to Google and just do a random background. Now these kind of look too commercial. This looks like a real image. So I'm gonna copy it, paste it in. I'm even gonna give it some realistic shadows, right? You don't really have to do this. This is just me kind of doing this for educational and entertainment purposes as well. Add a little shadow here to just kind of make it look real down to where it's barely visible, to where it has a little depth, right? And it don't look like much now, but when you turn that off and on, you can see the difference, right? So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save it as something that, you know, like real camera camera images are saved as so we're gonna go 81 or 89 and then we have that and we're gonna come back here and we're gonna upload that and then we're gonna go to the next page because this next one is optimal and then we're gonna go Joe Flynn area for number and then we're gonna use typically you want to use a catch-all a catch-all email I've kind of explained that in depth before but what it is is an email that any address sent to this domain it all goes into one inbox so what that allows you to do is if like my domain is ricocopeland.com joe at rico.com rico at rico.com do rag at rico.com is all going to go to one mailbox right so i essentially have an unlimited supply of emails to use i want to go joeland.com and then we're going to do that same address that we put in 76119 and then the country i'm guessing is going to be the united states and then hit next page i filled out the information i provided a receipt i've uploaded a photo and i have done that as well so i'm going to submit the form oh wait yes we agree with that i'm going to go joe at ricocopeland.com again okay now let's go inside my email and then we have the email we're gonna go over here to approve and so then boom this was the exact same process I went through last time in about a day or so I'm gonna give I'm gonna get an email or should get an email saying hey we're processing your replacement request pretty much that easy right now you want to see some more methods I got some in the video that you're about to watch click on that video meet me over there Rico gang I love y'all let's get it